Let's go get some perch. Welcome back to Diamond Lake. It is a typical January day here. My plan today is to go over how I ice fish and why I ice fish the way I do, and perhaps I can help you out the next time you're out on the frozen water. So let's go inside and get set up. Whew. Way nicer in here. First thing first, gonna pop several holes for fishing out of and for placing the underwater camera. Then I'll go uh, reverse on the drill and push the savings down the hole. Ooh, got a little crazy. Dealt with most of the ice savings. Look at that. Just a hair over nine inches. Oh, foggy. There it is. Foggy lenses. Foggy lenses. Watch well, way better. All right, looks like I'm going without the uh, recorder. Battery's dead. I got a couple of important items with me. Number one my sonar. So I got a Garmin Striker modified for ice fishing. It's actually the same unit I use on my boat. Uh, this is something that I picked up from a video by Jay Siemens. Got an ammo box with battery in it, unit attached on there, and then the transducers on some PVC pipe. I got two rods, got a tickle stick, and a little 30 inch long ugly stick. I'm fishing for perch right now, in about 30 ish feet of water. So I'm going to do the one two punts. I'm going to use a uh, rattle spoon on the ugly stick and then two little tungsten jigs on the tickle stick. Uh, bait each with a little piece of worm. Also got a buddy heater, keeping things nice and toasty in here, as well as these interlocking mats. Great for getting stuff off the ice and also great for keeping boots out the ass. What's up, buddy? Man, this is awesome. He's so curious. Wow. Yeah, there's a little group of them down there. That's a good sign. It's got the camera down there. And we got perch. Actually caught a piece of weed. There's actually weeds down there in 32 feet of water. Look at that. Oh yeah. Weed on. Alright, we go grab the rod holder and try the old one-two punch. Bite, bite. Oh, yeah. He got it. We got him. All right, we got him. We got him. See, this is going to be a little perch, I bet. Woo! Little perch. Little perch. Had a big rainbow coming on the scene here. Play a little drama, man. I'm going to play with him here. See if he wants to eat this. Come on. Got him. Nice. That's how we do, buddy. All right. Oh, no. Well, that was crazy. I just dropped the uh, camera, but I got a rainbow hooked up. Let's see if we can get him in without tangling up everything. Oh, nice. 
Wow. Woo! Look at that guy. Check him out. Gorgeous. Diamond Lake Rainbow on the ice. We're going to back going down home here quick. Come on. There he goes. All right. I'm going to dead stick this thing. You guys see it? Perfect. Rod is dead sticked, and this rod I'll be moving up and down. So, the old one two punch here. Got it. Woo! Hooked up. Hooked up on a poich. Hooked up on a poich. See if we got ourselves a taco perch here. Ooh, he's pulling. Oh, shoot! That might be the biggest one hit. All right. Nice. Got some big ones moved in, it looks like. That will taco up just good. So I decided to put a smaller tungsten on because I've seen so many fish just kind of lightly biting. Oh, shoot. Small tungsten got bit. Nice. Was it a good one? This taco perch? Oh yeah, that's a taco perch right there, man. Heck yeah. Check that guy. That perch will taco. I think that fish has got it. We got a bite. We got fish on. Alright. Cool. Oh, shook off. Oh well. Oh. Woohoo! Fishing slowed down a little bit, but this is the biggest one in the morning so far. Hit the old rattle spin. The old one two punch, buddy. Yeah, you know, I'll take a little bit of time to talk about my experience ice fishing. So, when I first got into ice fishing, man, it's been. Well, probably almost 15 years ago. I didn't know much about the sport. Um, I used my regular fishing rods, so like six foot long rods. And you can use that. I mean, ice fishing is one of those things, like anything else, you can make it as complicated or as simple as you want it to be. Well, I'm going to look that right now. Oh, I got bit. Got him. Perch on, buddy. Perch chance. Got a perch while we'll telling stories, you know, maybe, maybe the perch likes stories. What we got here? Oh, yeah. That one will taco, too. All right. Taco perch. Okay. That might be enough lull here in the action to talk about the nuances of ice fishing. So, as I said, you can make it as complicated. This is fish. That's a fish. Alright. Well, alright, whatever. <laughs> I guess fish like I guess fish like details. Alright, what is this? Pretty good size, whatever it is. Oh looks like another trout. Rainbow trout. Second rainbow of the day here. Sometimes you get these guys while you're perch fishing. Kind of squirmy, kind of slimy. Some people call them slammers. Well, they lay pretty good, but they're not a giant rainbow, but hard fighting fish. Pretty cool to pull through the ice. See you, buddy. All right. Well, I'm going to switch over to film in the aqua view so you guys can see what I see.
Delayed. I'm gonna be doing the best just by dead sticking this, so I'm just gonna bring her up here about the middle of the screen and just let him sit. Lures are right there. Let's see what they do. What? That was crazy fast. Top hook. Other fish is wondering where his buddy went. Perch in the background, man. Perch in the background. And then dead stick this. Oh god, there's another one. Oh god, there's three. There's a bunch of them. Wow, there's a whole bunch. Oh, I missed that one. That was the biggest one. Of the herd there. Got a herd of perch, man. I'll get back down there. He might come back. I almost got it. Oh, yeah. This is great. This is a lot of fun. Oh, the top hook. He wants the top hook. Is he gonna get it? He got it. He got the top hook. All right. Double trouble. Is that a pumpkin seed? What? Put the in the mix. See you. There's some little perch. That little seed, bro. <laughs> oh, you missed, buddy. Oh. Come on, hey, he won't. Got him. Biggest one yet. Actually got tangled up in the camera cable, but it came up. Nice looking fish. Ice fishing, pretty simple gear. You know, as I alluded to, the short rods, the leader, lures. You know, well, I, per I personally like tungsten jigs. That's, you know, one of my favorites. Different size tungsten jigs. Swedish pimple, that's an old standby. It's a little jigging spin. And most of this stuff is readily available and sporting good stores around the area. Uh, what else? I will talk about ice safety. So, what is safe ice? There's a lot of information out there about what safe ice is. And honestly, it depends on a number of things. You know, it depends on the quality of ice. Generally, clear ice is much stronger than cloudy ice. So you can get clear ice when you got water that just freezes the straight through. You get cloudy ice when you basically get ice that forms, that melts a little bit and reforms. So this can happen when you got snow on top of a frozen lake, warms up, get a little bit of melt water going on, some of that melt water freezes. You'll hear four inches of clear ice is like a general like minimum for somebody to go ice fishing on. Me personally, I like a minimum of six inches of clear ice. Currently right now I'm on nine inches of clear ice. I feel like this is plenty safe. I have seen ice in Washington get to 18 inches thick. Here in Washington State, you know, it's not like the Midwest where the Midwest they measure ice in feet and they actually drive trucks and stuff out on lakes. We don't get that here. Uh, the length of our ice fishing season can be variable. We can get 
relatively long seasons, you know, late November into March, where we can have what basically we're having this year, an El Nino year, like I just got on the ice here at Diamond Lake. Today is January 19th, so this is looking like a short ice fishing season. But the most important thing I got to say regarding ice safety is to have healthy respect for your environment. You are walking out onto a frozen lake. Ice is different every year, even on lakes that you know. So I, I test the ice before I go on it with a spud bar. And then I also carry these ice picks on me. I've never had to use them. But the idea, if you were to fall through the ice, you can use these to get a grip, to pull your body out of the ice. Honestly, ice fishing is, is a lot of fun. Uh, if your gut is telling you that something is sketchy and dangerous, just don't do it. It's as simple as that. So, that was, those are my words of advice on ice safety. You don't have to be the first person out on a frozen lake. Some people get excited and they see two, three inches of ice and get out there, but no fish is worth risking your life for. Not even a big giant perch. Perch tend to be deep in basins of lakes, so I got a map of Diamond Lake here, and it seems like perch, they could be anywhere from like 20 feet to 60 feet. It just all depends on, I guess, where their food is at. So, if you stick it out long enough, you could bump into some of them, but the choice of moving or staying put, it's up to you. Generally, if it's early ice, like we got, this is ice just formed, I like to stay put in a spot I got a lot of confidence in. If it's later on in the winter, I tend to do a lot of moving around just to get over the top of the fish because generally early in the ice the perch are moving around quite a bit then later on the ice they tend to be more sedentary. So essentially early ice fish are moving around they find you. Later ice generally you have to go find the fish. Oh I know what I got to talk about. I got to talk about sleds. How do you get all your gear on the ice? Well me you know if you're, if you're a simple fisherman, it's great. You can have a small sled and just put a few things in there. But I like this otter sled. I can pack it up. Full of my, I can put my shelter in there. I can put my heater in there. I can put my electronics in there, my fishing gear. And not too terribly heavy yet. <laughs> that is a dozen perch. Not a bad haul. The bigger ones are a little over 10 inches. So those are going to taco up real nice. I think that basically covers it. I'm excited to be out of here. So, see you guys on the next one. Well, that's a big one right there, man. But count the stripes on him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, maybe seven. We can give him seven. <laughs>